1227 on this Tuesday afternoon, we're tracking very gusty winds all across the valley, but especially near the coast. So when we take a look here in the Brownsville area, 32 mile per hour wind gusts. Port Isabel, a little bit closer to the island, about 33 mile per hour wind gusts. So sustained wind speeds, that means constantly blowing, are mainly out of the south and southeast between 20 and up to 24 miles per hour. So yes, it is a very gusty afternoon. It looks like it's going to stay that way uh, until later on tonight. Now looking at the coastal forecast, we have a small craft advisory that started at 10 this morning. Will still be in effect until 7 o'clock tonight for the Bay Waters. It's going to be very choppy out there. Seas will average 2 to 4 feet. Now let's take a look at your hour by hour forecast. The clouds do stay locked in tight for the majority of the day, but we could see maybe a few breaks here and there to allow for some peaks of late day sunshine. Temperatures will rise to the upper 80s. Right now we're kind of in the mid to lower 80 range, so we will get a little bit warmer in addition to the breezy conditions and maybe even a few sprinkles of rain. This is the first one five Doppler network, and you can kind of see once it loops back around maybe a few little specks here and there. That's pretty much the rain activity, so it's nothing too too heavy out there, just a brief shower here and there. And that's pretty much what's going to stay with us on future track as we take you hour by hour. Three o'clock this afternoon, this particular model hints at some cloud cover breaking apart a little bit more and staying a little bit on the less cloudy side, so we'll see a little bit more sunshine. If that's the case, then we'll definitely heat up to possibly 90 degrees in the upper valley, um, but that's something that we'll continue to watch. I think the clouds are going to stay pretty much uh, in place exactly where they are. They may thin out a little bit more. Same case overnight and into tomorrow morning. We could see a few more sprinkles with partly to mostly cloudy skies. Now here's your tonight forecast. 76 will be your low under partly to mostly cloudy skies, and the winds are going to lighten up a bit and become less gusty. Rain chances stay at 10% today, tomorrow. Back to mainly dry conditions by Thursday, but I can't rule out a shower on Friday. The reason for that, we have our next weather maker situated over uh, in parts of New Mexico and kind of draping down into West Texas. Uh, so with that being said, that particular system will continue a very slow track toward Texas. Eventually getting here, it's just going to take its time. So as it moves closer, high pressure will kind of scoot off to the east. That's going to weaken our atmosphere maybe a little bit. We could get a few more sprinkles of rain, but that's about it. By Thursday and Friday, it looks like we'll have some drier air kind of moving in in the upper levels, and that'll kind of break apart a little bit of the cloud cover. But look at this. As the front gets closer, it's definitely going to be a lot more humid. And then with daytime heating, we could get a few sprinkles of rain as that front starts to make its way closer Friday night going into Saturday. It's really not going to bring us like real good rain chances, but it will bring us some beautiful weather for Mother's Day. Check it out. 94 degrees, a little hot. But I think the humidity will be a little bit more tolerable for the weekend compared to now. So we already touched on that coastal forecast. Remember that small craft advisory for the bay is in place until 7 o'clock tonight. 87 today, 90 tomorrow, 93 by Thursday, maybe even a little bit warmer by Friday. If we get enough sunshine, we'll be up near 97. But behind the front, we'll be in the mid to lower 90s through the beginning of next week. Overnight lows will stay in the mid to lower 70s for the next few nights, eventually dipping down to 68 Saturday night. But that's short-lived. We'll be back to the low 70s for Sunday night. That's your updated first one five forecast.